so good morning friends so today we are going to see a lecture on classless addressing already we have discussed about class uh, full addressing like we have divided into a b c d e classes all the addresses we have divided and uh, mostly d and e were for feature use and the extra use and a b c was the uh, major category so now uh, because of the subnetting and supernetting we could not able to handle uh, all the ip addresses using class full addressing there was a next concept called as classless addressing so with the growth of the internet it was clear that a larger address space was needed as a long term solution although the long range i solution has already been devised and is called ipv6 a short term solution was also devised to use the same address space but to change the distribution of addresses to provide a fair share to each organization the short term solution still uses ipv4 address which we called as a classless addressing so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the classless addressing now we will see about variable length blocks so we have seen there in a class full addressing what we have seen is slash 8 means uh, class a class b and class c so this how the way we did and we did the subnetting in each and every case we did the subnets so now we are going for the uh, variable length block this is what we are going to see and two level addressing then block allocation and subnetting so these concepts we are going to define today now we can see that uh, the address space if we see that so we uh, use variable length block like block number 1 block number 2 3 4 like that i i plus 1 then finally up to block m we could we could able to design in uh, classless addressing so in classless addressing the entire address space is available for us and we can able to use all the addresses as per our convenience based on the variable length block now let's see in classless addressing the prefix defines the network and the suffix defines the host so prefix and suffix we will be using in classless addressing so the prefix defines the network and the suffix defines the host so let's see now this is the prefix and the suffix now you can see the n bits here and 32 minus n bits. if we take the prefix as 16 then here this also will be 16 if the prefix is 8 then it will be 24 if the prefix is 24 then it will become 8 so this way we can able to uh, generate the network and the host so this way we could able to do that now the prefix length in classless addressing can be from 1 to 32 as you can see uh, in uh, uh, classful addressing we have seen 8 16 and 24 but here we can able to see 1 to 32 so if the prefix is 1 means that it will be 31 uh, 2 means 30 like that we can able to extend up to uh, 31 uh, 32 and 0 so that way we can able to do the addressing in classless addressing now we can see that uh, we this is called a cidr notation so classless inter domain routing this what here so we call classless inter domain routing so inter domain routing so this what we have done and uh, this is the uh, style here that we have the first byte second byte third byte fourth byte after that we have a slash notation and the prefix length so prefix length as we have seen from 1 to 32 so we can have it and this is the prefix length we can able to fix it in the classless addressing in sorry in classless addressing we need to know one of the addresses in the block and the prefix length to define the block so we need to know at least one address and the prefix so using that we could able to compute many things uh, in classless addressing so the following addresses are defined using slash notations so you can see here uh, 12.23.24.78/8 the network mask is uh, this thing so this is similar to class a which is there in a classful addressing the mask has 8 ones and 24 oh zeros the prefix length is 8 the suffix length is 24 so that means out of 32 bit addressing 8 bit addresses uh, the first 8 bit were the prefix length And the suffix is 24, so that's how the way 32 minus n, so that's how the way. Now in the second case we have slash 16 here, that means that uh, 16 in the prefix and 16 in the suffix. Now you can see the 27 here, 27 means the in the address here, the network mask is uh, this is the network mask. So because we have to have 27 uh, ones uh, and the uh, five zeros there, so based on that we have this mask 255255255.224. Uh, the mask has 27 ones and 5 zeros the prefix length is 27 the suffix length is 5 so you can able to find out easily so maybe i just uh, for this 224 i'll just write it down so first all 24s are ones then finally we have dot uh, 25 26 27 then another 5 bits are zeros 
So, this is the last one. So, when you calculate this you can see here the calculation is uh, here it is 128 uh, plus 64 plus 32 which will be 128 uh, 130 160 which is 224. So, this 224 only it is coming up here. So, that means uh, if uh, the slash 27 means we have uh, up to 27 ones and uh, 5 zero. So, you can easily calculate that masking address network mask. So, based on the number of ones and the zeros we could easily find out the network mask. Okay. So, now we have some examples we will see. One of the addresses in the block is uh, slash 27. Find the number of addresses in the network, the first address and the last address. So, general formula there. So, the value of n is 27. So, we could be able to find out what is the subnet mask. So, the subnet mask can be found out very easily. Now, the number of addresses in the network is generally 2 power 32 minus n. So, this is what here 2 power 32 here it is 2 power 32 minus 27 which is equal to 2 power 5 which is nothing but 32. So, that is what it is mentioned here 32. We use the AND operation to find the first address. So, first address can be ANDed with the given address. So, the given address in binary is 167, 189, 170, 64. If we do that, then uh, in that we give the supply the network mask. So, you will be getting the address. So, this is the first address. First address will be ANDed with the uh, subnet mask. The last address, we first find the complement of the network mask and then R it with the given address. So, in the given address, first we take the complement of the masking then uh, we can use the r to find the last address. So, last address in this case we have we can see that 167, 189, 170, 95 and here you can see the first address here is 64. So, first address 64 the last address is 95 you can see here so 82 is the given address and uh, 64 is the first address. Now, as you see totally how many computers 32 computers. So, that means the first address when we find out so 64 plus 30 2 minus 1. So, this is what we have to find out. Now, you can see 64 is 96 minus 1 is 95. So, last address is 95 because we have totally 32 computers. So, when we add the first address when we find out you can easily compute plus 32. But uh, if the number is uh, crossing beyond 256, 1000, 24 like that you will have a complexity there. For smaller numbers we could be able to easily find out the first address and the last address. But a easier method to find out the last address is the take the complement and uh, use it the R. R means either R bit pattern you can use it to find the last address. Okay. Now, one more example here one of the addresses in the block is this slash 24 find the number of addresses the first address and the last address. As you see slash 24 means so 20, 32 minus 24 is 8. So, 2 power 8 is 128 computers. So, very easily we can able to find out totally 128 computers. Oh, sorry, 2 power 8 is 256, 2 power 7 is 1, uh, 256 computers we can easily find out. So, that is what given here 256 there. To find the first address we use a shortcut method. So, just uh, uh, use the uh, network mask. So, the network mask here is since it is 24. So, all the 24 bits are 1 and the last one is 0. So, in that case we could be able to easily find out this 0 then. Last address as usual is very easy to find it out. So, you can see that the complement you take the complement all zeros and uh, last uh, 5 bits 1 and then you can able to find out and it is 255. So, starting from 0 to 255 totally 256 computers we can easily find that out. So, this way we could able to do that uh, very easily ok. Right. One of the addresses in a block is so again the next example is slash 20 find the number of addresses the first address and the last address in the block. So, we can see here 20 means 2 power 12 is nothing but 4096 2 power 12. So, here 32 minus 20 is 2 power 12 which is equal to 4096. So, totally 4096 uh, computers we can able to add. The first address as you as usually you can see that you can do uh, it is 20 means 12 bits to be 0 uh, zeros and 20 bits to be 1s. Now, in that case the mask is 255.255.240.0. So, we can easily get this first address is 110.23.112.0. So, this is the first address. Similarly, if you find the last address here. So, we apply the first shortcut to bytes 1, 2 and 4 and second shortcut to byte number 3. So, that means you can able to replace uh, complement it and uh, do the R operation you will get the last address. You can see 110.23.127.255. So, this way we could able to find the last address. So, a simple uh, rule is that first address is uh, given address and with 
mask subnet mask so this is one last address is given address complement complement of i mean mask mask complement then r with that value so r with the given address so we have to give the r with complement of masking so this way we can able to try the given address so this is the last address we can able to so first you complement it the mask to be complemented and uh, do the r ring factor you will get the last address so this way we could able to find out the first and the last address so now uh, a, a slightly bigger problem an isp has requested a block of 1000 addresses the following block is granted since 1000 is not a power of 2 1024 addresses are granted so that's why it is it is not 210 it is 2 power 10 okay so the prefix length for the block is calculated as 32 minus uh, log 2 is 22 so that means 22 means uh, 32 here and uh, 10 if you subtract 10 then you will get totally 22 so that is uh, 32 minus n so that's what here it is 22 the beginning address is chosen as this thing which is divisible by 1024 so first address has been uh, chosen like this and uh, divisible by 1024 the granted block is this is the granted block so that means 22 is granted the first address is this the last address is this because totally 1024 means you have to have four things here so four addresses you have to add so 18.4 point last address is uh, 12 uh, 12.0 and uh, and r of the complement of the masking r with the given address you will get this value so 18.14.15.255 but whenever you compute uh, the last address see, since we have total 1024 addresses and uh, you can see that for 12 we have 256 for 13 again 256 for 14 again 256 and for 15 again 256 so totally 1024 computers so that's why we have a 15.255 so we can easily find it out suppose you can see for 12.0 uh, it is totally 0 to uh, 12.255 totally how many computers 256 computers then next is 13.0 to 13.255 again another 256 computers so another 256 will be 14.0 to 14.255 finally the last one is 15.0 to 15.255 So now you can see totally 1024 addresses. So this is what here. So that's why the last address is 15.255, which was given here. Okay. So this way we can easily manually we can verify the whether the calculation is correct or not. Okay. Now prefix length for classful addressing. So for the classful addressing, it is uh, class A means a prefix is slash 8, B means slash 16, C means slash 24, D is slash 4, and E is slash 4 because it was reserved for the future use. Okay, now, assume an organization has given a class A block as 73 point in the past. If the block is not revoked by the authority, the classless architecture assumes that the organization has a classless addressing. So that means slash 8, we have used the classless addressing. Note. The restrictions applied in allocating addresses for a subnetwork are parallel to the ones used to allocate addresses of a for a network. so the whatever restrictions we are applying to the network will be applied to the subnetwork also so this is what uh, uh, in classless addressing we been followed okay now again uh, if a, uh, an organization is granted the block uh, slash 26 the organization needs four subnetwork each with an equal number of host design the subnetwork and find the information about each network now you can see the addresses given 26 is totally given and now totally 20, 32 minus 26 is 2 power 6 which is nothing but 64 so this is 2 power 6 in which is equal to 64 the first address in the network is 64 so 12.64 it's already uh, given there okay and the last address is so simply you can see 64 to be added extra so that means what 64 plus 64 minus 1 so that's what we have to add that means when you when we start counting 64 is also one number so totally when we add it will be 63 addition so totally 127 so this is what the last address is given here we now design the two sub network so the sub network how do we design is uh, in this case we have to design four sub network the first and the last we find out four sub network that means what totally how many addresses totally 
among the 121 if you have to 4 means then each will be of 32. So, we have to use 32 into 4 that is what. So, 32 addresses per sub network. Now, first here we can see the formula here. Uh, we grant 16 addresses for each sub network to meet the first requirement 64 by 16 is power of 2. Okay. So, the sub network mass for each network is 26 plus log 2 to the base 4. So, as per we have already seen the formula here. So, totally 4 sub network. So, when we divide it you will get 28 as the uh, slash notation. 26 is the initial notation, but when we want to divide it. So, it should be in powers of 2. So, for total that is why we have this 28. Now, we grant 16 addresses to each subnet starting from first available address, source the sub block for each subnet, note that the starting address in each subnet divisible by number of addresses in the subnet work. Okay. Okay, now, you can see n is 64 addresses. So, starting is 64, ending is 127. So, sorry, total is 64. So, 64 divided by 16 will be 4, which is nothing but 2 power 2. Okay. Now, what we do is, now we can see that uh, number of n equals 16, the 64 divided by 4 is, we will put one thing here, one thing here, one thing here. So, total this is 16, this is 16, this is 16. So, totally 4 sub network we are creating, where each sub network the formula is uh, 26 has become 28 because of uh, n plus log 2 to the big n by n i. So, in that case total it is 26 plus how many sub network we want to design. So, log 2 base uh, log 4 to the base 2 in that case 2 power 2 will be 2, uh, 2 power 2 here. So, it will be 4 is nothing but 2 power 2 that means 2 will bring here. So, log 2 1 and 26 plus 2 is 28. So, now 16 addresses so 28 is 64 plus 16 is 79. So, 64 plus 16 minus 1 which is nothing but 79. After that, the next address starting with 80, 80 plus uh, 80 plus 16 minus 1, there which will be uh, 16 minus 1, 15, 95. You can see 95, 95 up till 95 here, 96 next, and similarly 1 to 1 to 1 to So, this way we can able to completely design the network address. So, this is one of the a bigger problem on how we can able to follow, uh, follow the subnetting in uh, classless addressing. So, similarly, you can uh, able to solve this problem. So, here uh, what we have given here is an organization is granted a block of address. So, we have given slash 24. So, that means 2 power 32 minus 24 is nothing but 2 power 8 which is equal to 256. So, 256 computers. Now, in this case one sub block of 118 addresses, one sub block of 62 and one sub block of 14. So, totally when you count it uh, 120, 180, 180. Uh, plus uh, 14. So, this uh, 62 can be converted to 64, this can be converted to 16 and this can be converted to 128 because of 2 powers. So, here 160, 128, 80 is again 208. So, totally we have to use 208, but how many totally available? We have 256. Among the 208, we can able to make use of this the addresses. So, the similar way you can able to follow uh, how to use this technique. Okay. Now, this is where it follows. So, totally n equal to 24. Okay. Then the first sub network is first sub blocks how do we follow is unused. There are 48 are unused because out of 256 only 208 will be used remaining will be unused that is 48 is unused. So, this is the unused value. Then we have 16 and then we have 26 and then we have 128. So, for 128 the slash notation is 25 for 64 the slash notation is 26 and for 16 the slash 20, the slash notation is 28. So, how you found uh, 28 here? So, initially we have given 24. So, 24 plus 128 uh, addresses we need. So, in that case, so log uh, 128 addresses means, just give me a minute. So, you can see here uh, the number of address second block is not power of 2 either we allocate 6 sorry. First thing is we allocate 128 address, the subnet mask is 25, the first address is this much. So, 24 is there. So, we have to give the 125, the last address is this much. So, here it is 127.25. So, that is what here. So, instead of 24 there, now they have given 25. So, that is only one address they have given. Sorry, uh, 128 addresses given. So, only one bit change is there. So, likewise, we have this 20 slash 26 here. Here we have a slash 28 here. So, this way we could be able to uh, do the stuffs.
Okay. Now same way you can apply for the other problem statement here. Now sometimes if you want to allocate uh, using the same sub network how you design it graphically or uh, using an image. So this way you can able to give an image. So from a wide area network and here is a wide area network how we design the sub network here. So this sub net slash 27 slash 28 and slash 28. So this way you can able to plan the problem. Again the same uh, examples here how we design it. So, this is about uh, classless addressing uh, that what we have seen. So, uh, I request all the students to solve the problems which is given by your own uh, method of solving. So, instead of looking at the screen, you try to solve, take a problem, try to solve it. That is why I have just given two exercises uh, at the end, so that you can able to make use of that. So, thank you. So, we will see in another video about the next two topics.